whenever we go anywhere, she has to call someone and tell them what's up, what we're doing. So I, I was up there recently, and uh, I, we, we went to go get some purple pants hemmed. So she, we get in the car. She calls our friend Donna. Donna, Kendra's in the car. Say hi to Kendra. Hi, Kendra. We're going, up the, we're going to go get those purple pants hemmed, you know, just in case we get in a car accident. And the cops are like, there was a pair of purple pants in the back seat. Looked a little too long for both the victims. Uh, I think this might be more than just a fender bender. I think we better look around. And Donna can say, no, it was in fact just a mundane task. They called me. Uh, my family's a little crazy. They, they love to talk about my family tree, but there's really nothing there of value to speak of. It's like everyone on my family tree has like a mental disability, a physical impairment, always followed up by the one redeeming characteristic. So they'll be like, oh, you're gonna be a great aunt Sophie, don't you? Hunchback, manic depressive. But boy, could she make a pot roast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was like butter falling off the bone, that meat. She was married to your great uncle Charlie, clubfoot, alcoholic, but boy, could he jitterbug. Oh, <laughs> he won regional awards. <laughs> my mother comes from a, from a long line of unsuccessful yard sales. And, and every year she wants to give it one more shot. I feel like yard sales are just like a public admission of being like, I don't know what trash is. Yeah. <laughs> let me pull all this stuff on the front lawn and let the general public decide. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, that's not trash. That is a price tag on it. Uh, four hours from now, when I pull it three feet that way, then it'll be trash. But right now, it's my inventory. <laughs> we, she likes to uh, go to other people's yard sales, too. So it ends up being a lot of yard sale drive-bys, which is like one of the most, I feel like, a very sinister type of drive-by. Because we all pull up, like, crouch down, trying to see other people's stuff. And then once we know that we got seen, we peel off like, we don't want your stuff either. Good luck, good luck pulling it back in the house. I feel bad for my mother though. I feel like she really, I think she, she you know, I've never been married and, uh, and I don't have any kids and she used to always, you know, I feel like she's given up hope on me getting married at all. Cause she used to always say, you know what Kendra, there's someone out there for everyone. And now she always says, you know what Kendra, there's a lot of single mothers out there. <laughs> she just wants me to have those babies. And I, <laughs> kids. I think kids are cute. I feel like they give me anxiety, though. I feel like they get to say whatever they want to me, and I can't say what I want in return, you know? Uh, I, I was out the other night, one of my friend's kids got on my lap and said in front of all the adults, she was like, ooh, you have coffee breath. And I wanted to be like, you're lucky I don't have whiskey breath. I'd be making out with your father right now. But you can't say stuff like that to kids. You gotta keep it inside.